Steven Universe 1 it left us with so many questions, but one of the most important is Pink Pearl. Who was she? Where is she? I speculated about this in the past, but I think it's time to touch up on this again. And do we actually have some candidates on who Pink Pearl may be? Let's run down everything today on Crystal Clear. But first, this video is brought to you by Quid. Quid is an exciting app where you can collect digital stickers, trading cards, and toys based off your favorite shows, such as Steven Universe, Adventure Time, Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Laboratory, Arrested Development, Bob's Burgers, and so much more. If you're not sold already, it gets even better. You obtain all this digital goodness with coins. And the exciting part is, you literally get thousands of coins just by logging in every few hours. Plus, there's loads of freebies. My absolute favorite part about the app is that with the stickers you collect, you can incorporate them to everyday texting conversation. Who needs emojis when you can use Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl? Not to mention, you can trade with people on the app, and if you want to trade with me, username is Vox. Quid is available for iOS and Android, link in the description, and let's get on with Crystal Clear. Pink Pearl has been one of the many characters of Homeworld Child in Mystery for a very long time in Steve Universe up until the episode of the trial, where for the very first time, she was finally properly mentioned. They didn't exactly say Pink Pearl, but Blue Zircon did ask, where was Pink Pearl, where was Pink Diamond's Pearl when Pink Diamond was shattered? How did Pink Pearl not notice Rose Quartz and shout out an alarm, WATCH OUT MY DIAMOND! And it's a very valid question because that is very odd. Pearls are always with the gems they're assigned to, and what we've seen from Blue Pearl and Yellow Pearl, they're always with their diamonds. They're servants, but they're also kind of like bodyguards, except they're not meant to put up much of a fight, so at the same time, I can see why a pearl wouldn't be able to do much anyways in the first place besides maybe take the hit for Pink Diamond. But as we've seen, the Diamond's pearls have a little bit more responsibility. Blue Pearl was a scribe during the trial, and Yellow Pearl seemed to be documenting everything too. She was taking note and recording every single thing that happened as the trial progressed. So, it seems to me that a diamond's pearl is designed to be a bit more capable and enhanced than other pearls. So while it's theorized that pink pearl or a pearl was involved in pink diamond shattering, something that I even offered my perspective on before, keep in mind it's not anything guaranteed, Zircon was just throwing out whatever she could to defend Rose Quartz, as she was assigned to. From a narrative point, it was meant to draw the audience towards pink pearl and question, yeah, who is pink pearl, where is she, what was she doing? But in the grand scheme of Pink Diamond Shattering, I don't think it means much, but I could be wrong on that. This show is so unpredictable at this point. I don't think a Pearl with their own weapons and their own bare hands could not shatter a diamond. Diamonds have been built up to be very powerful, and yes, we could apply real world physics to it, such as a diamond can only scratch a diamond, and translate that to only a diamond can shatter a diamond in the context of the show, so therefore something as powerful as a diamond in the hands of a gem way weaker than one could still shatter one and live to tell the tale. But realistically, the more I think about it, and the more evidence that piles up against it, I don't know if I fully support that idea anymore. Like I said, it's definitely a possibility because you cannot predict Steven Universe. You can try, but with major plot points and major plot twists, the show is constantly throwing you for a loop. It is the loopiest of loops. Regardless, shattering Pink Diamond or not, a lot of people are still scratching their heads and wondering, where is Pink Pearl? And I do believe she's going to be introduced in the story fairly soon. By soon, I mean hopefully by the end of Season 5. I don't mean soon within the next few episodes. And if not Season 5, then maybe Season 6. Yellow Diamond was name-dropped at the end of Season 1, and then appeared at the end of Season 2. And since Pink Pearl was somewhat name-dropped in the beginning of Season 5, I can see her appearing towards the end, if not the beginning of Season 6. I don't think it's going to be a white diamond situation where, let's be honest, we know she exists, yet the show still refuses to actually acknowledge her outside of depictions. Hell, we know Pink Pearl is real. And while signs point to there being a white diamond, in all likeliness there is a white diamond, she's still not actually confirmed. It's kind of BS, but it's the truth. Now, in all likeliness, we are going to get white diamond. The thing I'm just trying to point out is, I think it's funny that a pearl, an assistant to a diamond, has solid confirmation they were a thing, as opposed to white diamond, who none of the characters have actually mentioned yet. Now, is pink pearl going to be a new character, or someone we've already seen before? And of course, if we're going by that logic, the two likely candidates are our pearl and rodenite, which is made up of a pearl and a ruby, but not just any pearl, a pink pearl. 
and while there's a whole which diamond did Pearl belong to debacle, but at some point, both Rodenite's Pearl and our Pearl have served under Pink Diamond's court. We know it's possible to transfer courts. Jasper's done it. The Famethys have done it. So the first person I want to look at is Pearl. Now, as Rebecca Sugar has stated in various interviews, most recently the live event for the soundtrack listening, she has said that Pearl is the character we know the least about, and it's true. We have Amethyst Origins, we have Garnet's Origins, but we don't have Pearl's at all. She is just, like, a mystery. Girl? I akin Pearl's backstory a lot to the chest in the pocket dimension. We know it's there, but that shit's under lock and key. And good luck having it open anytime soon. The most we have of Pearl's backstory is that at one point, she did serve a gem on Homeworld, or served Homeworld. But the insinuation in Adventures in Light Distortion was that she was gonna say somebody else. A lot of people, including me, are thinking White Diamond, and I still think you can hear the diamond cue in the music when that happens. When I still served Homeworld, I saw it myself. But if you don't look deeply into it, it's kind of a no does statement when I still served Homeworld. Yeah, every gem besides Amethyst has served Homeworld at one point or another. They're kind of born into it. And beyond that, we know that she defected from Homeworld and declared her undying love for Rose, fought alongside her to the very end. Now, a big factor for Pearl serving White Diamond is the fact that her gemstone is in her head. And as we see from Blue Pearl and Yellow Pearl, their gems are on their chest, matching the placement of Yellow and Blue Diamond. However, it's never been explicitly said Pearls who serve Diamonds had to have the exact same gemstone placement. And as we see from Blue and Yellow Pearl, they're meant to look just like their diamonds. Yes, Pearl does have hair similar to White Diamond's depictions, but she also has pink hair, something we're not entirely sure if that's something she's always had or was an addition she made sometime during defecting from Homeworld. And the give us the Emmy scene of the answer, Rose is completely colored pink, while Pearl is completely colored white, but at the end of the episode, Pearl still has her pink hair. So that was an artistic choice, but it was an interesting one. Did they make Pearl white just because that's her pigmentation? Or was it alluding to something else? Because as we've seen, Steve Universe is a master of foreshadowing and making parallels, especially with Code Theory. Pearl also gets very shaky whenever Pink Diamond Shattering is mentioned. She looks straight up traumatized. And I do think that means something. Perhaps Pearl was close to Pink Diamond. Without necessarily being Pink Diamond's Pearl, or she witnessed Pink Diamond Shattering, or even both, but I do definitely think she did witness the Shattering, and it still haunts her to this day. But the Pink Diamond on Pearl's spacesuit and on Sardonyx's shoes says a lot to me. I do believe that even if Pearl didn't serve a diamond, at some point she did serve a gem under Pink Diamond's court. Whether that gem was Rose Quartz herself before they defected, or similar to Rodenite, served a Morganite, or a Jasper, or even a Ruby. How ironic would that be considering Eyeball's dialogue and bubbled? What will the diamonds say when they hear that a Ruby defeated Rose Quartz? They're gonna give me my own pearl! And if this is the case and she did serve a non-diamond, then that means her gemstone placement doesn't really matter. And really, the biggest hole in Pearl serving Pink Diamond stems from dialogue in the trial, again from Blue Zircon, that Rose Quartz was a recognized threat for hundreds of years before Pink Diamond was shattered. And I'm not sure if Rose can get away with acting alone for that long. Again, I believe it's highly intentional that we have to piece together the timeline of the gem war. We don't ever get anything really concrete like this happened after that but rather we love to infer and make assumptions so that way they can continue to throw us for a loop. But I do think the conversation between Rose and Pearl was prior to Pink Diamond Shattering, whether if it was by a few hundred years or the night before. So this kind of rules out Pearl being Pink Diamond's Pearl. I know I just made a theory speculating that maybe White Diamond made Pearl with the intention to defect, and maybe even Pearl still could have been Pink Diamond's Pearl, but my theories are mainly to provide alternative looks at things and attempt to turn something bare bones into rather solid theories. But as you can see, as I'm kind of going against that right now, that doesn't always pan out. At the end of the day, I do believe Pearl did serve an elite gem due to Paradox's comments about her being fancy, and I do believe she does have ties to a diamond, even if it's not a direct diamond-pearl relationship, if whatever gem she did serve directly reported to either white or pink diamond rather frequently, and I think a reveal like that may be more in line with Steven Universe because they're not exactly straightforward with their surprises all the time. 
and with something as big as Pearl, I think her belonging to a diamond actually would be predictable, and therefore not, and I think I have more faith in Rebecca Sugar than that. It actually might serve as a more compelling story for Pearl to serve an elite gem that wasn't a diamond rather than her actually just serving a diamond. And why she gets away with no homeworld gems recognizing her, but that could also just be plot convenience. Anyways, I want to move on to Road Knight, the quote unquote off color that's a fusion between a ruby and a pearl that stated they belong to a morganite, and morganites are pink, so the assumption is that Road Knight and morganite were under pink diamonds court. Now the immediate flaw that she wouldn't have been Pink Diamond's Pearl is that, well, she said she belonged to a Morganite. But actually, AJ Universe made a video recently that explains this pretty well. We know that gems can be reassigned. So after Pink Diamond was shattered, Pink Pearl could have just went to a Morganite. Perhaps the ruby and pearl that served Morganite was exposed to the rebellion, how things were on Earth, and they developed romantic feelings for each other, and they fused and liked being fused, and that's when they were disposed of. As for Pink Pearl's gem being on her chest and not her stomach like Pink Diamond, again, it's not confirmed that a Diamond's Pearl's gonna have their exact same gemstone placement. And we haven't seen Road Knight unfused, so she could still be Pink Diamond's Pearl. And if anything, since the Diamond's value conformity, I think it actually make the most sense for their pearls to all have the exact same placement, making our pearl that much more of a defect and that much more of an off color. Although I do think when Jasper called Pearl defective, it was just because she left Homeworld. She literally defected from Homeworld and served those courts, making her programming and what she designed to be flawed and defective. And honestly, I can get behind the pearl that makes up Road Knight being Pink Diamond's Pearl. After all, she was introduced in the episode after the trial where Pink Pearl was first mentioned. Next thing you know, we have this fusion of a Pink Pearl and a Ruby? That's pretty good timing, and for Steven Universe, it really does make you think. Ronai was also the one to exclaim that the Earth was destroyed in the Diamond Attack, which was also kind of sketchy. However, I don't know if a Pearl belonging to a Diamond of all gems would get downgraded so drastically. If anything, I would expect a pearl belonging to a diamond should just get assigned to another diamond. I don't think there's anything against the rules about a diamond having more than one pearl. And if they took in Amethyst and Jasper, despite them not being the proper colors, I don't see the harm in this. And that takes me to my next point. Pink Pearl, as I speculated before, could just be a gem we've never even seen yet. And she could be with White Diamond. If our pearl was White Diamond's pearl, and when Pearl left, she was left without a pearl, the next thing you know, Pink Diamond gets shattered and now she has a pearl again, that makes sense to me. Pink Pearl keeps serving to her full capabilities, as she was designed not just to serve, but to serve a diamond, and White isn't left empty-handed. However, this still works even if our pearl isn't White Diamond's pearl. If any diamond's gonna have two pearls, I expect it to actually be White Diamond. Her absence is building her up to be this big deal. And what's a bigger deal than someone who has two pearls? Oh, why stop at two? Give her three! I don't think Pink Pearl will be shattered, which is also a thought that occurred to you before, that hey, your diamond's gone so you really don't have a use or purpose in Homeworld anymore. Buh bye bye But then we started seeing all these reassigned gems and that made me think. If a lower class runt, like an Amethyst or a Jasper, that can be replaced at the snap of a finger, can get reassigned, why wouldn't a Pearl? Gems are sort of like rewards, trophies. And if you're a Diamond's Pearl, I bet you're valuable. So I don't see them disposing of them. So out of all these candidates, if you ask me what the most likely, I think my top number one is that Pink Pearl is just a gem we haven't seen yet. She's either with White Diamond or just a really high up gem closest to a diamond and we just haven't seen them yet, followed by Road Knight being Pink Diamond's Pearl. After all, the best plot twists are the ones that are right in your face the entire time. And third would be our Pearl. While I get her being Pink Diamond's Pearl would be a huge plot twist all on its own, now that we're on Homeworld, I feel like the story is starting to shift focus more from Pink Diamond's Demise to White Diamond. And Pink Diamond's Pearl really seems to be one of the final plot threads dangling with Pink Diamond. And for all this build up just for Pearl to serve a diamond that we've already knew existed would kind of lose its punch. Like I said, I don't want to cross out any possibilities because I feel like they're all valid, to an extent. I do expect to see Pink Pearl soon. I do expect our whereabouts to be Homeworld. After all, we haven't really seen much of Homeworld. We saw its possible capital and an abandoned kindergarten, but that's it. The implications is that the planet is huge. So Pink Pearl could be anywhere, and it's gonna be a journey to find her. In fact, now that she's been mentioned, I wouldn't be surprised if there's an arc centered around finding her. And if Rodan Knight truly isn't Pink Pearl, she still may have an idea on where Pink Pearl is. Just some food for thought. 
But this is where I turn the conversation over to you guys. What do you think? Who did Pearl serve? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Click that little bell for notifications for whenever we upload a video at the roundtable. Consider supporting us on Patreon so you can get access to our Patreon exclusive Discord server. Get coupons for our Teespring store. And if you pledge for our diamond tier, we'll even shout your channel or anything you want shouted out. Need a Twitter or Instagram you need flexed? We'll do it. We're working to make the Patreon what you want it to be. Also, follow us on social media such as Twitter and Facebook. We even got Instagram and a public Discord server. Links to all that in the description below. Ostrich Thoughts, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.